right, emergency video, literally just hopped off the turbo because someone said, Oi, Pidcock's done an outrageous time up out the west. So I was like, okay, 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 okay. We have to have a look. And guess what? His power data is up. So wait, we're going to go 58, 57. I know in the tour here is 57. So I'm going to adjust it to 57 because that is realistically the weight the, the boy is going to be doing. And then after that, we'll go have a look at the Watts per Kilo because my oh my, they are strong. He cracks it by about two minutes or something ridiculous. So yeah, Ed Laverick used to have the KOM. So we can see, we'll, we'll go through the efforts later. Come on, let's be honest. We just want to see this. Yeah, 6.8 for 23 minutes is obscene. It's an absolute joke. Like it's kind of obvious in the way because like, you know what they're doing tired you know he'd like in a 20 minute all out berg he'd be cracking out six and a half so you're kind of like well like what's he gonna do fresh 6.8 but it's kind of mad to see it and it goes to show that like this man is has got absolutely ridiculous talent um the fact he can do like 390 watts is like a lot on the flat and obviously he's super idle boy but also like just the climbing ability is just absolutely bonkers like look at the van 1726 on his own probably on a training bike not super light and if we look at the con before, it was Ed Laverick, to be fair, who whacked in a big effort. Um, this is actually a really good segment because it basically allows you to see all the people, um, all their best numbers. So you can see Ed Laverick did 378, maybe a little bit heavier at the time. I'm not sure, probably. Maybe slightly worse equipment because obviously Palmiers might, might read slightly different as well. But nonetheless, a very strong time here, like 6.4, 6.5. But yeah, 6.8 is an absolute joke. 6.7 maybe. I think in cross, they said he's 58 and then in the tour he's like 57. But yeah, you can see like Moscon's time up there is very strong as well, 430 watts. And it's a pretty quick climb as well. You can see like 25k an hour, they're up 7%. It's absolutely ridiculous, especially on his own, I believe. I mean, obviously you could have done it with like other people um, drafting, but I kind of know it's kind of hard to tell. Like if you look at the power data, it doesn't look drafted. So I reckon probably not. Um, like that looks incredibly smooth. I think if it was drafting, it would be more up and down. I mean, it might be, but I think it'd be probably a bit lame. I don't think he would do it. But yeah, absolutely ridiculous numbers. Kind of what you expect to see, um, like, from the boy. Um, obviously, said all the, the big bots for the end, you can see, like, negatively split. Like, the first five minutes or seven minutes was, like, 385. Um, and then towards the top, cracked on 388 watts. But yeah, mental ride from the boy. Absolutely ridiculous. Did some efforts before as well. Did 20 minutes at 280 watts. High cadence, low cadence, the classic. This is a classic Ineos workout where they do like sort of high zone three. Um, and yeah, and then 31 minutes again over unders. So kind of ridiculous. I wonder if any of the other Sky Boys or Ineos boys set a good time as well. If we quick click, oh, I can't click on today. Um, but yeah, absolutely ridiculous time. Um, I mean, can he win a tour? Probably like that's pretty ridiculous times. You can see Dan Bigham did 2809, which is again, is pretty respectable. Quick Koski 2938. This bloke, 450, fair enough. I think he's like a, a running, not a running, a sailing boy. Sib did like 342. Tim and Aaron, Aaron's been 354. They obviously allowed that power data up. Connor Swift, 393. But yeah, absolutely ridiculous. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you, your thoughts about Pidcock. Can he win the tour off this performance? I mean, obviously it's kind of not really relevant, but I do think it does go to show the big man is an absolute animal.